Welcome to the CME On Demand presentation for oral appliances for the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea. We will be looking at coverage criteria, modifiers, repair and replacement, and a few resources. The information given in this training is correct as of July 2023. The most current information related to this topic can be found on the Noridian DME website at the link listed on this slide. A custom fabricated oral appliance is unique to the individual for whom it is made as a treatment for obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. It requires that impressions be taken of the teeth and a positive model must be made. By using the positive model, the appliance must be made using materials that are cut, bent, and molded. For this process to be considered customized, it requires more than just trimming and bending. Full construction of the device may include prefabricated components, such as the joint mechanism. Neither a prefabricated nor a custom fabricated device that has not received coding approval by the Pricen Data Analysis and Coding Contractor, or PDAC, are covered under this policy as they are not considered reasonable and necessary. A custom fabricated mandibular advancement oral appliance, the E0486, is covered when the beneficiary has an in-person clinical evaluation by the treating practitioner prior to the sleep test to assess the beneficiary for obstructive sleep apnea testing. The beneficiary has a Medicare cover sleep test that meets one of the following criteria, one through three. One, the apnea hypopnea index, or AHI, or respiratory disturbance index, or RDI, is greater than or equal to 15 events per hour with a minimum of 30 events or two, the AHI or RDI is greater than or equal to five and less than or equal to 14 events per hour with a minimum of 10 events and documentation of excessive daytime sleepiness, impaired cognition, mood disorders, or insomnia, or hypertension, ischemic heart disease, or history of stroke, or three, if the AHI is greater than 30 or the RDI is greater than 30, and meets either of the following, A or B. A, the beneficiary is not able to tolerate a positive airway pressure or PAP device, or B, the treating practitioner determines that the use of a PAP device is contraindicated. In terms of coding, the only products that can be built using code E0486 are those where a written coding verification has been made by the PDAC contractor as noted earlier. A coding verification request can be found on the PDAC website or by contacting the PDAC. There is also a product classification list with products which have received a coding verification on the PDAC website. The NU modifier is necessary to indicate a purchase of the device. In addition, this policy requires the use of the KX modifier when billing if all of the coverage criteria required in the policy are met. If the criteria are not met, the supplier must append either the GA or GZ modifier to the claim line. The GA modifier indicates that an advanced beneficiary notice of non-coverage, or an ABN, has been executed, showing that the supplier has informed the beneficiary the reasons that Medicare can't pay for this item and the beneficiary has agreed to receive the item anyway and assume financial responsibility. The GZ modifier indicates that the coverage criteria has not been met and that no ABN was executed. While Medicare can't pay for this item, there may be cases when a secondary insurance would require a denial from Medicare in order to consider payment. If an E0486 is billed without a GA, GZ, or KX modifier, it will be rejected as missing information. Like many DME items, oral appliances are eligible for reimbursement of repair when necessary. Repair is defined as fixing or mending the item to put it back in good condition. In no case can repair costs exceed the cost of a new item. The reasonable useful life for oral appliances is considered to be five years. Replacement can occur earlier in the event that the device is lost, stolen, or irreparably damaged as a result of a specific accident or disaster. In addition, replacement as a result of normal wear and tear is considered statutorily non-covered.
The LCDs and policy articles can be accessed through the Noridian Medicare website by following the path listed here. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.